Alright, we're gonna play a game of three minute. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna play E4 today. Uh, against the Owen, I like the setup with bishop d3, knight c3, and knight e2. It defends e4 adequately. When the bishop comes to b4, I defend the knight to reinforce it so I can retake and continue defending e4. And I can castle in time to avoid problems with bishop b4. So I'm going to develop like this. Um, I think I want to look for e5 advances, maybe followed by knight e4. Uh, so yeah, let's start that way. On knight e4 now, I think takes takes bishop e5, I believe, is nice for white, because it's a little uncomfortable for them to stop uh, the defense of it. I'm going to castle. c5's interesting. I think they should have gone for c5. Now I can reinforce the pawn. Uh, I guess I'll keep developing. I wanted king h1 so that c5 takes, knight takes, bishop c5 wouldn't be a problem. I have to worry a little about the bishop. Um, I guess I can play bishop e5 and try to trade it off. Um, but I probably did something a little wrong here. I'd like to move the knight and play c3. So I'm thinking knight d1 to f2. Maybe head over to g4, maybe come to d3. All right, we're up on time. We seem to have a reasonable position. Just gonna play c3. Um, that's a good move. Uh, I guess we'll try b3, b4 might hit hard, but I don't think so. We're threatening to take in c5. I think we're doing all right here. Uh, maybe knight f2 to d3 next. Um, I'm a little worried about takes, takes, bishop b4 at some point, but that's not supported. So I think I just want my knight to come to d3 and work from there. Uh, maybe I'll contest the file first, just make sure we have pieces lined up against the queen, standard thing, put our rook against our qu their queen. I'm considering ideas like g4, but I don't actually think it's very useful. I think I'd like to force them to clarify the queen side, so I'm going to play knight d3, put a little more pressure on c5. Maybe f5 at some point with knight f4. Um, okay. I'm going to play, I think I can play knight c5. They take, I take, b4. Now, they have play there, but I have a nice knight on d4. I was hoping this was good, because b5 is a little hard to defend. Like about c6 in some lines, now they have to keep an eye on that. And now, I'd love to play f5, but I just can't. So I'm going to bring the bishop over to h4, because it's my worst place piece. It's kind of blocked by my own pawn, so I'd like it to have some potential activity. That is a good rook, so we will try to trade it. Uh, the queen can't support because the bishop on c6 falls, so I think we have drove them back. If they go to a4, we're going to play a3. We can always play knight c2 if we need to defend this. Oh, f5 is so tempting. Let's play bishop g3. Really look at f5, so they can't take ef because of e6. Um, I guess we'll just defend that. Maybe queen e3 now. Ooh, we can play f5. We can definitely play f5. This should be winning. Um, I was assuming e6. There's also knight f5. There's queen h6. Ooh, so many choices. Um, don't think too long. Um, hmm. Not seeing a win. So let's start with queen h6. Seems useful in all lines. Maybe they have queen d7 now, though. Uh, but we're threatening bishop h4 to f6, too. Um, so queen d7 would stop the knight getting there. Yeah, so that makes more sense. Now I can take on f5, though. Threaten mate on g7. Queen f8, maybe. And queen g5, probably. Uh, 
the rooks and pieces are so far out, like it's just really hard to imagine this isn't winning. Okay. I think I'm just gonna take it. There's also ninety seven. I guess let's start with ninety seven. Um, I could take on g6. I guess I'll do that. I don't know, man. I've screwed this up a bit, but probably. But it should be. <laughs> should be winning. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I'm going to take an h5. I'm going to play a7. Let's just rip on c6. And maybe e6. This looks pretty good. Um, I have to go to F there. Oh, man. Oof. Well, I really blew that. This probably made at the end. Let's, uh, let's look. So if queen g6, if king g8, because any time they came to h6, we have bishop f4 mate, right? So, king g8, queen g6, king h8. They have tempo. So if the bishop could come somewhere, it's not like they necessarily could hit us, but the bishop is nowhere where it can get immediately to the diagonal. This is tricky. I can also play e7, but I had so little time. I can probably try checking on different squares and probably could have successfully clocked them, but... Uh, interesting game. Really misplayed it. Let's play one more. Now, if I was being smart, I'd go back and look at all the places I screwed up. I think... I think they must have been frequent. Tactics are hard. Uh, let's try e4 again. Um, knight c3 is an interesting move. Um, okay, let's just develop our pieces. Play a little obscurely. Maybe d5 is good here. Play a d4 eventually. Yeah, we're gonna take and play d4. Huh. Maybe bishop b5, but to just double their pawns. The isolated peak pawns or c pawns are really weak. Castle, rookie one. Look to play d4 eventually. I guess I'll just take and play knight e5 so they don't have the two bishops for long. Yeah. I don't really think I have anything here. I'd want to play queen g4 just to make it a little hard for them to move their pieces, but knight f6 is comfortable for them. But queen g4 is an idea to keep in mind. All right, I mean, yeah, they're threatening me. But now the knight can't come to f6, so my queen's stabler on g4, or I did want to bring it anyway. Sorry, f6, not g6. It, of course, can come to g6. Um, I guess for d1, think about d4. Uh, their king looks a little open to me. Do we have anything we can do about it? I want to move my knight, but knight e4, f5, and knight a4 doesn't seem too helpful. d4 seems to let their pieces come out. Then maybe I can get in on g7. Um, I really wish my knight was better placed. So let's play knight e2. Just threaten d4. Yeah, I'm not sure that's useful for them. Though I don't have queen e4 anymore, so I can't treat that as like a you made a weakness, let's get queens off. Uh, which is what I'd like to do in this kind of position. Uh, queen c4 might induce b5, but then my queen knight is actually like close to trapped. So let's go to... Ooh, I made a poor move. Yeah, this is very bad. Uh, queen h3, knight f4, queen f... Uh, knight f4 is covered. I don't want to play queen f3. I do want to play d4. I don't know if I want to take back knight, though, because that surrenders knight f4, so I am going to take back bishop. Um, they can't take on c2 because of rook c1. 
I don't really see the idea of this move. So I'm going to play c4. Think about playing d5. Pawn's pinned. And blocking the d file seems good to me. It seems useful. I'm in on g7. Don't know if I want it, but I am there. Um, I guess I have to take it, because otherwise I'm not really sure what I'm getting here. Um, cannot take an h4 and g allow g3, so I'm going to play king h1. Sorry, cannot take on h4 and allow pins on g3. Uh, this is a reasonable move. Yeah, reasonable move. Um, I guess my queen can finally get out, though. So you can take... I don't have knight c1, because you take e1 with check. Don't know, but my queen's not in h3 anymore. That seems like a win. Queen c7, maybe I can play h3. So, uh, the knight's hit. Do I have to do something about it? So I think I'm... Just, ooh, I don't want to hang that pawn. That's an important pawn. So maybe queen b2. Drive you back. If queen a5, probably bishop c3. Okay, okay. We're not mated anymore, so that's something. Yeah, sure. Now your knight, if it comes to e5, I'm just going to take it. Um, yeah, knight c3. Uh, I'm going to play knight e4 next. Once the tempo, c5 is loose. Maybe come into f6. They should probably... Mm, no, they shouldn't. Knight of 3, rook e3, and they can't save both pieces. So they have to move the bishop, then I'm going to swap. No, that's a mistake. I just have to be quick. And I don't think I will be quick enough for this, but... I'm winning. It's got to be worth something. Defend a tough position. Didn't realize how tough it was going to be. Bad evaluations. Knight e2 is... Uh, Big misunderstanding, quite overconfident. Uh, yeah, let's take the knight and the pawn and just make some quick moves. I don't think these are particularly good. They play f6, I just lost a knight, but they can't play bishop e7. I'm just going to take this. D6 next. D7. Bishop F6 is annoying, but we're just going to come back. Obviously the wrong way to take, but whatever, we're going to clock anyway. Okay, let's play one more, because I think this is working. Yeah. Yeah, knight of four was very bad. I guess I'm getting a lot of whites. All right, e4, e5, let's play knight of three, play four knights. Maybe it should be five. Sort of thinking about taking and then taking on e5 is, you know, like a row of Pez. All right, this move's not so great, because I can play d4. The knight's pinned. Usually black wants to castle before doing something like this. So I can play knight f5, and they kind of have to take, and now I have the two bishops for very little. They don't really have a good way to deal with this pin, because they can't reject it with g5 ever. Bishop d4 is a common move, but I can take on c6 there. This is another one. Um, bishop c4 and bishop d3 I think are both playable. I think I'm allowed to sack that pawn, but I don't see why it would be, so... I'm uh, sure. Uh, knight e4 or d5? Probably d5. I 
to defend f6. Maybe they should have played king g7 last turn, though it always gives me queen g4. Um, thinking about c3 and b4, also thinking about rook e1 and rook lifts. Um, what's more useful? Start with rook e1. They can't play rook e8 because of queen f7, so I think they have to play c6. Now, do I want to come to e3 so I can come to g4? Probably. I was thinking f4 automatically, but this looks better. Um, do I have to play king g7 and rook h8? If so, this was done very well for me in the opening. Um, yeah, they think they do. Okay, knight g4. Can we play rook e3? That's a big question. I kind of think we can. Um, yeah, don't see why not. Just gonna come to g3. Uh, knight h6. We're in a pin, but we threaten mate on f7. And if queen e7, maybe we have queen g4 because they can't take an h6 because of queen g8. And we threaten queen g8 anyway because rook g8, rook g8. Uh, okay. Alright, I think I played that one well. I think that was a good game, despite the difficulty of never really having commented before. So let's do one more. Let's try to... I only get white, apparently. Alright, we're gonna stick with e4, despite I'm not playing it anymore. Uh, oh, we got such a good position last time. Let's play the Spanish Four Knights again. Alright, knight d4. I like castles here. Um, my idea is a quick d4. Give up the two bishops, get a little space. Knight c3. If they would take, they get. I get a lot of pressure on the e-file. Yep, this is what black is supposed to do. It's supposed to play queen c7 here. Ooh. Okay. I think I want to take back queen, because the queen is actually quite stable here. And just pile up on d6. Maybe h3 first so the bishop can't be harassed, and so bishop g4 isn't annoying because the knight's a little loose and doesn't have a natural square to go to. Now I think we can just pile up on d6, and we should have a nice advantage because, yeah, I don't really see how they defend stuff. Okay. I could play rook d1, but do I want to lose by that? No, probably not. Let's just play simple chess. Um a3, they don't have the d5 break, but they might be able to prepare it quickly, I'm not sure. If bishop b6, I'm thinking knight d4, knight g5 to harass it. Probably knight d4. Think about coming into f5 if they played like bishop c4. Not immediately, but eventually. So they should probably play bishop c8. Just return. Okay. I'm gonna keep centralizing. Uh, maybe e5 here just with the point that I really want to break up their pawns and make e6 actually a weakness. Um, takes, takes, knight e5, I'm going to play knight e4, I don't want to fix their pawns. Alright, they can do it this way too. I can take on d6, that looks very reasonable. Um, I can't play knight e4 now, so they definitely ordered this better. I guess I want to take on d6. That was an interesting move from them. I didn't see it. Okay, now we can get back to how I wanted to play this, though. Because e6 is lost, right? Because we just have knight g5, fork h7, and e6, and we have two attackers on e6 anyway. Probably rather take h7 if given the choice, because e6 is such a weakness already, and it would leave the g-pawn isolated. They are not giving me that choice. Um, but knight c5 makes the rook look a bit silly. Yeah, uh, and I think rook d3, just looking for ways to improve my pieces, is also knight d6. Um, I think I want to throw in a check, just see where they go. I might play knight f6. Um, I guess just knight d3. Maybe think about knight e5. Maybe not. Um, okay, so we're up a pawn, and knight endgames are very good when ahead material. 
Therefore, simple chess. All right, I really like rookie six because if king f7, I have rook c6. And then knight e5 check. So it's hard for them to drive out the rook, and the rook is such a good invader. Yeah. Play good chess sometimes. Yeah. Um, I guess king f1. Now their knight's not nearly as stable, so this position gets much harder for them to play. Just don't let the rook in. Um, I think I'm just going to pester the knight, because I don't know where it goes. They don't either. Uh, all right. So they're threatening knight e3, so we're going to sidestep the check. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, now rook g4 forces rooks off. So this would now be a very difficult position to blow, so it will be very impressive when I do so. That's not a good move. Now you just gotta be quick. We have C4 covered. Bring my king into the game as the first order of business in all end games. One check, never hurt no one. I'm gonna come here just because king b4, knight e4, and they get in on my pawns. But I probably sh oh sorry, king c3, knight e4. But I probably should have gone that way. Um, I don't actually have an obvious way to improve this. Okay, now we're gonna create a pa ah, I'm just your knight c3. It's just garbage. Uh, okay, we're gonna check. C4. But, uh, really blew this. I mean, I'm up two pawns still, but this is embarrassing. Uh, three. We've lost a lot of pawns here. <laughs> we had more. Uh, somehow we're still up one pawn, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, <laughs> we really blew this one. I am. Wow! Okay, that one was embarrassing. <laughs> that was very sad. Oh man. You did a good job getting the king active, and I did a very good, poor job uh, countering it. A4 was a big blunder, but even then... Huh. I just couldn't find a way to progress. I should leave the c-pawn on c2. I want to start chasing these pawns, force the king to go over to defend them, and if I can get him more passive, then I can start pushing the c-pawn. Uh, I thought pushing the C pawn would be a distraction, but it clearly wasn't. All right, one more, one more, one more. Let's have not a disaster. Okay, uh, I've been playing the Budapest on this account, so let's play that. Uh, knight g4, I hit e5. Main moves are knight of 3 and bishop f4. I do think bishop f4 is a little better against knight of 3. Play bishop c5 and 4 c3, and the bishop's locked in. Here the bishop comes out. We're going to pressure the pawn again. Knight f3 is played, bishop b4 check. My idea is either the knight's passively placed, or I can double the pawns. Um, now, if I don't pressure e5 more, h3 is coming. So I think I'm supposed to... I might be able to hold off taking. Let's play queen e7. But I do want to take at some point. Yeah. There. And now I'm going to take... I believe f6 is kind of needed. Because otherwise I just don't threaten to take on e5 and they can play h3 and the knight's suddenly terrible. Yeah, this is the main stuff. Uh, I'm not supposed to castle because c7 hangs. It's been a while since I've played this, sorry. Uh, knight e4, bishop f5. I know this is one idea, and there are probably better ideas, but... The knight comes to c5, my rook comes to e8. They're up a pawn, but they don't really have any targets to go for. Okay, king h8 is usually useful anyway, because sometimes I actually want to just shove the g-pawn up there, down their face. However words work, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Um, are they fixing their pawns? They might be fixing their pawns, because knight c3, knight f5. Knight d5 defends my queen. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, they can do it this way. I'm an idiot. Uh, I can take on e2, and then take on c6. Okay. Ugh. And then take on f4. Hmm. Interesting position. Okay. <laughs> we didn't completely blow it. Um, they won't have the two bishops. They will be able to trade the queen for two rooks, which does favor them if they want to. Um, but I get bishop e4. And can, like, if they take, um, rook takes, bishop takes. Sorry. No, they can't. They have to take back an f4. I'm being dumb. Uh, so we have time to play rook b8 or rook c8, which do I want? Because they're going to play rook e1 next, and my queen's probably going to go to h4, and taking c7 for them is very possible. So maybe rook c8 is precise, though inactive. I think I'm better here. I've got better pawns. Um... I think their king's more vulnerable. But their bishop really controls a lot of like nice squares, and my rooks aren't active. Though I do have play against f4, so I should probably be able to win a pawn. Yeah, so they want um, bishop g3. And I can play bishop d... No, I can't, because the queen takes it. So I can play bishop g6. I was thinking, where can I put the bishop? And if I put it on this diagonal, I feel it's going to get hit by rook e7. So I guess I want just bishop g6. It also stops rook e4, so they can't really hold on to the pawn. They want a queen g3, but now I just play queen f4. Should be good. They do get an invasion with rook e7, so I don't think this position is, like, trivial. But we do get to take an f4. We hit c4. I would trade queens if I was them. I think their queen's more vulnerable than mine. Oh, their king, sorry, their king. And I think usually queen trade decisions should be based on king safety. But they might want not want to trade it on my terms, because of course if I take, they fix their pawns. Ah. Okay, so I have bishop d3. Um... Bishop d3, rook g1, bishop c4, takes, takes, rook e7. I must be able to... I'm up two pawns there. And I'm, I hold c7, I can play rook g8. That must be fine. Okay. I think this should be a win. Because I got these two pawns. Uh, the big worry is f4, f5, f6, but my rook does cover that, so I just want to make sure I keep an eye on that. And is that even a problem? I can just take here. Right, it's just a problem in similar situations. Um, I think h6 helps me. Okay. Um, now I think I want to get the other rook active, because I can now defend here through g4. Their idea was to double, but I'm threatening mate. Let's just try to be, yeah. Okay. H4. Yeah, okay, well that was a little mean of me. Uh, sorry about my chair squeaking. Alright, cool. Let's see if this all records.